Hi Pete, just a few quick questions. Uh, what was your reasons behind coming down to Brisbane uh, today to do the 150k with the Psychos? What's your thought process behind it? Um, I've been good friends with Al Pittman for many years and uh, you know he still mentors me and sends me emails and, and keeps me pumped up and, and level headed and uh, gets my helps me get my head in the right place. So. Um, you know, coming down here to a 150k time trial with a bunch of other really dedicated, motivated athletes who are just age groupers, but you know, the, the, the greatest bunch that I know. Um, you know, it's 150k's, it's 25 minutes for me per lap, so I did nine laps. Um, you know, pretty quiet, a bit, little bit undulating, kind of like Hawaii, and uh, it was just perfect to do that in a with a group that really got me in the right headspace for, um, for pushing myself in a time trial that I just can't do when I'm on my own up in Noosa. Um, and then everyone runs off the bike as well. So just I've just done 150k time trial. Nice rolling hills. Um, you know, pretty similar to Kona. It was really good, felt good. Um, and now just running off the bike. Um, anywhere from 5 1Ks to 10 1Ks, we'll see how I feel. I'm feeling alright now. And yeah, I ended up doing 8 1Ks off the bike with 500 float between. And it got really hot. It was good training. Did a good little mental heat prep. A bit of acclimatisation as well. Felt a little bit of a confidence booster from today. Next week's 100 kilometre time trial down here, so I'll be back again. What runs through, through your mind um, whilst you're doing 150k? It changes. You're just trying to think, what's my left leg doing? What's my right leg doing? Am I being efficient? Am I pulling up? Can I make it a bit better? Am I in the right gear? Should I change gears? Is my cadence right? Um, can I improve somewhere? And just try and be more efficient the entire time. And before you know it, you know, you're getting close to halfway at the turnaround point, whether it's out and back after, you know, 12, 13 minutes. And then you're like, oh, I'm at the turnaround again, and you check your time, and you see how you're going, and might push a bit harder on the way back, and try and keep up the time splits that I've been doing. So um, it was great to have that distance, that 25 minutes, or every 25 minutes I knew where I was at, and that sort of kept me on track and kept me motivated, and kept me trying to push and uh, stay under that time. So what did the run feel like off the bike after 150k today in your hyper speed? Yeah, I felt pretty good running. I was a little bit tight uh, for the first five um, and then I loosened up a bit and then I just kind of started getting a bit tired because um, I was having a gel after every lap, a shot's gel after every lap, so that's every 25 minutes. But then I didn't take any once I hit the run. So I think after about that 49 minutes where I ended with eight, that's, um, that's when I pretty much ran out of fuel. So I was done at eight. And happy with that and um, I didn't if I'd wanted to do more I would have you know taken a few shots gels while I was doing the run but you know I just wanted to do what I could get through comfortably yeah and uh, you know the race is in three weeks not today